Caramel Milk Tea Tapioca Tea Boba Bubble Tea Call it what you want, but it's the same sweetened, tea-based drink with chewy little pearls that has taken the world by storm. 就全部里面就算是特别喜欢了。大概多久喝一次？一个礼拜两三次吧。They've also evolved into different varieties. There's tea without the milk, milk and sugar without tea, brown sugar, fruit flavor. The list goes on. 我不知道，就随便选，就想喝真奶我就选真奶啊。如果想喝红茶就选红茶，所以也不一定。There are even options: sugar, no sugar, some sugar, more ice, some ice, no ice. To cater to different needs, preferences, and taste buds. There's no doubt it's popular, but in Taiwan, it's as ubiquitous as say, coffee is in Europe. And why not? The culture of drinking tea with milk may be a centuries-old practice elsewhere, and iced tea may have been popularized by Americans. But bubble tea, let's call it that from here on, is a Taiwan concoction, without a doubt. But even the most avid bubble tea lovers may have a hard time guessing exactly where and who started the revolution. So pearl milk tea wasn't invented in some laboratory or factory. It was actually invented in this shop back in 1986. And as you can see, business is still really good. And inside, interestingly, it looks a little like a museum. <laughs> you have to go all the way to the end of the restaurant to check it out. Yes, it's a restaurant and not your run-of-the-mill takeaway bubble tea shop. These panels reveal not only factoids and trivia, but a story. The story of Chun Shui Kang and a bubble tea that many of us have come to love, that some of us can't do without. Uh, 一开始其实它的店很小，大概不到十十平吧。然后就一个脚尖，然后呢，一半呢要留给呃我们老板，就是刘汉杰先生，创办人，他要他的他的喜爱就是高山茶，台湾的高山茶，他卖茶叶，卖茶具，所以他要保留他的一个泡茶桌。另外一边边呢，给我们一个西式的一个吧台，所以呢，我们在旁边，你可以叫现现叫，然后我帮你现调的一杯红茶，啊、哦，百香红茶。By all appearances, Chun Shui Tang, now with outlets all over Taiwan and beyond, is making money. But money is never the sole motivation of the people behind it. They were passionate about their products. The owner, Liu Hanjie, is considered a tea expert. Manager, Lin Xiuhui. Well, let's just say she's every bubble tea lover's godmother. It turns out tapioca was a childhood favorite of hers. Back in the day, it was merely considered a local delicacy. Then I was in 191986. I was in that store. That was our first store. I was the first one to open. I was the first one to buy the tea. 购早餐要去购买，去市场购买东西，然后我就看到市场有人卖粉圆，我就好高兴，因为我很喜欢吃粉圆，我看到粉圆就想想要买回来煮，所以我买回来煮之后呢，第一个首先煮了就是当然是分享给伙伴们吃，但是你天气热嘛，你吃粉圆热热的多热啊，那我我有我会泡茶啦。哦，我也爱喝奶茶啦。那同事们都爱喝，所以你喜欢喝，比如说你喜欢喝红茶，你也可以加粉圆加进去。我喜欢喝奶茶，我也可以把粉圆加进来。Okay. 我们就变成私底下的一个自己在喝，以及
跟好朋友的分享的私房茶。那这样的情形已经执行了好几个月。后来有人说：“哎，我不是你好朋友，我不见得每天喝得到，能不能把这个产品变成是每天可以喝的商品？”那我觉得哎不错、哦，我们当初是爱的。There is consensus within the Xiuhui Circle. The combination of milk tea and tapioca pearls was good, but she wanted further affirmation. 我跟你讲，我哈，很不好意思。我以前虽然是当店长，可是呢，我说过，我刚开始是客人之间的一个私房茶，所以也没有跟我们创办人讲，没有跟我们董事长讲。然后呢，我自己就先卖卖看，我自己先卖了一个礼拜，真的吗？是，就先卖了一个礼拜，跑了一个礼拜。客人反应很好，所以老板不知道。客人反应很好，后来我说：“哎、欸，我后来我们每个礼拜都会开会，就跟我们董事长开会，我们就跟他，我就跟他报告这个事儿，说：哎、欸，我们这个有个产品，他已经有跟客人互动过，客人反应也不错。” So for a milk tea lover, and I know there are a lot of us, it's very exciting to be able to taste the original bubble milk tea, and so I asked how to properly enjoy. Your bubble milk tea, and I was told you had to stir, stir it a little bit, so that when you drink it, you're also able to get the chewy pearls underneath. And I think what's special about this is that right combination of the taste of tea and milk. It took very little effort to convince her tea-loving boss, of course. And so, not long after her discovery. Chun Shui Tang began to officially offer bubble tea on its menu, and then neighboring stores followed suit. We at that time, milk tea was very good, so when it was added in, the customers' reaction was very good. So after a few months, all the shops in the neighborhood were selling it. My neighbor also sold milk tea. Really? Yes. After a few months, the whole milk tea shop in Taichung Street, the whole milk tea shop in the whole street, was selling milk tea. Every shop sold milk tea. By the 1990s, bubble tea was as common in Taiwan as McDonald's was in any major city. And now, good luck finding a bubble tea place without long lines. How do you feel that it's now a worldwide sensation? It, you know, from east to west, everybody loves bubble milk tea. Very good. 因为它，我我觉得它有点我们华人的特色在。粉圆真的是我们很华人的一个在地的一个物品，而且我觉得有些东西的呃交流或融合，不一定要用经济或其他的，其实生活或食品或是饮料或茶饮，它也是另一个方式。As bubble tea was rising in popularity, however, so was the use of plastic straws. I guess in terms of using plastic straws, Taiwan is a big user of plastic straws. Is this because of the milk tea culture? Uh, it's a big relationship because Taiwan's milk tea is very long and has been for many years. Because it has to be used 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 to be 所以任何的便利商店，它都可以拿得到。那这个造成的污染就很大。朱学杰 ，who aptly goes by the nickname Ocean， is a lifelong environmentalist. After years of advocacy, however, he felt his message wasn't coming across as effectively as he would have liked. He felt he needed to offer a more tangible solution. 我在二零一三年的时候。因为我们觉得，如果没有一个东西让大家可以看得到它，然后再去让他们可以改变生活的话，那其实环保是很辛苦的。所以那时候，二零一三年我们就推动了生产的这个环保吸管，在台湾，而且是首创生产，然后也在台湾，就是直接先从台湾开始推广，然后慢慢的推广到很多国家。因为这个我有摆在店面前。For a small entrepreneur like Ocean, it was a gamble. QC, which is what he named his new eco-friendly company, required a sizable investment. They weren't just going to sell glass and metal straws. 
they were going to manufacture them as well. Uh, 那我必须要去跑全台湾的市集跟展览的活动。那其实，在第二年、第三年的时候，其实我们推动的效果已经非常大了，已经有非常非常，应该至少有好几十万人，他已经有用环保吸管。Alright, here comes my built tea. 谢谢. You know, um, when this restaurant opened two years ago, the owners made a conscious decision to only use glass and metal straws. But pretty soon, the entire island of Taiwan, all restaurants in the entire island of Taiwan, will have to use non-plastic straws. And this is especially true for milk tea. As you know, Taiwan is the world's milk tea capital. As many as 8.3 billion plastic straws end up on the world's beaches, according to a recent study by Australian scientists. Taiwan consumes around 3 billion of them each year. The island's ban on plastic straws started in July 2019, but is limited to dine-in settings for now. Taiwan is actually known for its efficient waste segregation and disposal system. But there's been some controversy over new regulations on plastic straws. Once the ban extends to takeaways and deliveries, the question for many becomes, how do you drink your bubble tea? Ocean says it's just a matter of changing lifestyles. Glass and metal straws are available everywhere. 第一個就是免費免費跟方便第二個就是說他們現在人本來就是為了便利會喜歡很方便方便這個是很重要但是呢要改變的話就必須麻煩一點可是你方便方便這個東西會讓你使用的東西會讓我們不健康那其實我覺